Hello, hello, testing, we're working. Hello, good evening and welcome to Gav's Drams. I don't know how interested this one will be for some people. One of my contributors to buy me a coffee, buys me a coffee, asked me if I had any spring bank from the cage. I've got four long rows open from the cage that I gave people money when they were down at Spring Bank to get me them. One was a gift, and now you get your name on them, you can only buy one. I was in Iowa two years ago, uh, just in COVID, and I nicked down to Spring Bank this Saturday morning, and I managed to grab myself two from the cage. One I took to Jimmy Fest last year, the leg fest, which I donated. It went down well. When I've kept, and I was asked, would I like to open it? So I don't know whether this will be interest to people for the simple reason you're not going to buy this in shops. The only way you'll get something like this is go to Campbelltown and go to Spring Bank and go and get something out of the cage and you're only getting one. Now this is an interesting one. So he's asked me to open that, so I said I would open it. As I say, these people are contributing to my channel and if they want to see something and want me to open it, I'll gladly open it within reason. It's a uh, spring bank. It's here. Let's get your white label on it. Two page sample. Warehouse 3. Rotation 266. Spring bank RS bot, which is a refill sherry bot. 70 CL. 56.5. Date 25th 03 11. And it's Age 10. So it's been lying for a while. It's going to be a neck pour. Let's see if we can open it. As I say, you will pick these up at auction. I think I paid about £80 for this. I don't think I paid much more than that. You can get them. This is these these are one-offs. These are, I think. These are cask ends, and it's anything left in the cask. They put them into a bottle, pay tax on them, put them in the cage, and people come in and buy them. And they're great bikes, they really are. So, we'll open it. Oh, it's tight. There you go, it's opened. And it's, oh, thank God, that's beautiful. As I say, it's one off. The only place you'll get this is at auction, I think. Uh, I don't know if somebody's bought them and keep them in the shelf, but I don't know why you make money in these at all. Oh, listen to that cargo. Good big down. On the neck port. Mm -hmm. As I said, I'm not sure whether People will appreciate things like this, but it's quite off. And I've been asked to open it, so I'll open it. So, nice colour, refill sherry. I poured myself a really good dram on it. It's 56%. We'll have a look at the legs. Turn that. Yeah, quite high. A very small. They're very, very small legs indeed. When I say small legs, they're tight length of the beads are very, very tight. They're moving very slowly. They're starting to move now, but they're clinging and they're moving very, very slowly and very thinly. So they weren't weren't a great beat when I poured it when the initial but it's 56%, so sometimes you get, you get a nice bead on it, which I didn't get. Let's shake the bottle and see what we're getting a bead on it. I don't know if you can see that or no. I'll shake it again. Take up on the camera. Alright, there's a, there's a bead on it. 
when it's taking time disappear. Mm -hmm. I can smell that for here. You know that. Right, so let's take it to the nose without shaking it. Bring it up nice and slow. Not a bit of nose prickle goes right in. Nothing at all. There's a light smoke to it, a very, very light smoke to it. You're getting the fussiness. No doubt about it, like that. Chocolate's the main one I'm getting for it. Like cherries. I would say cherries. It's a nice soft nose. What I mean by that, it's it's not harsh, it's light, it's fruity, it's tasty on the nose, it really, really, really is. Not a lot of funk, but just a light bit of fruit, a lot of, wee bit of everything, nothing, there's nothing standing out in this, but there's a lot there, there's wee bits of everything. It's a nice pleasant nose, relaxing. Get me sugar. See if that makes any difference. Bring it up again. A wee bit more life in it there. A wee bit more lively. It's a lovely. It's not a sherry bomb. It's certainly not a bomb. But it's like sweetness. It's a real pleasant nose, you know that. It really, really is. Very light, very fruity. Right, here we go. What oh, chocolate in it. It's quite in the palate. Nice thick taste there. Quite warm. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm glad I opened that. You know, I mean, that didn't just lie in a cup. Oh, oh, what is that? There's something at the back of that. That's interesting. There's just something come right in at the back of that. Wee bit of fire, a wee bit of wood chip. It's no sulfury, just a wee bit of... That's really, really interesting. Because right at the back of the pallet, there's just something moving on. That, that's the development. It's just development. It's going to be one of these drams that changes and changes. And as the bottle go down, I think it's going to be beautiful. Demerara sweetness, Demerara sugar, a wee bit. There is something coming in in the back of that, which is gorgeous, an absolute gorgeous taste. I wonder what that is. We don't know what it is, but it's, it's different. Well, if you can get it to the cage, You'll obviously not get that, but you're going to get quality whiskey. You're not going to get in shops. Is it worth 80 quid? You bet it's worth 80 quid. No danger. Absolutely no danger. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. Nice 10 year old spring bank. 56.5. What can I say? I, all I can say is, it's a, I like sherry refills. 
I like the softness of a, a, a refill, which is good because it's not got the harshness. It's not got the harshness. By God, there's a lot of taste in that. There's a lot. There's a lot of development. There's a lot going on. So there it is. Whether this of interest to people, I don't know. But I was asked if I did have one, a cage bottle, would I open it and give my opinion on it? And I've done that. So all those that contribute to Gav buying me a coffee, I do appreciate it. Um, and I will open whiskies that you want me to open because you are contrib contributing to the channel. I only think that's fair. Press the subs button. We're over the 900. We're on the, we're on the last leg. Okay, we've got 900 and something. But we're over the 900. So we're getting there. So come on. Tell your pals. Share it. Let's get this thousand. Let's see if we can get this magical thousand. We're nearly there. We're, we're definitely nearly there. Press the subs button. Press the bell. Comment. Tell me whether you find things like this interesting. Because I've got a lot of stuff like this. You're not know, getting the shop and you can't buy a lot of one-offs. Do you want me to taste stuff that you can buy? That's a problem here. Uh, so, somebody says to me, Gavin, you're too niche. Uh, you need to do whiskies that people can go out and buy. They can taste and buy. And then other people will say, no, just keep doing what you're doing. It is called Gav's Drums. It is what I buy. I do stick to maybe the expensive stuff. I don't know, but I get some good cheap stuff as well. But I go for the unusual stuff. I don't go for the branded stuff. Uh, buy a lot of spring bank. Buy a lot of Caden heads. I'm lucky to get the spring banks and I open them. So that's me. So thank you for watching Gav's Drums. Thanks for your support. This is gorgeous. This is absolutely beautiful. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, it just, that's beautiful. It just comes right out of the back here. You're getting sherry. You're getting the dinner, the sugar, you're getting the cherry, you're getting the chocolate, it's all there. And then at the end, there's just something coats the whole thing, which is absolutely gorgeous. It'll come to me when I, when I stop reviewing. Anyway, guys, see you all next week. Thank you very much for watching Gavin's Grams. It's much appreciated. Thank you.